green. Roger, check 344. FTS, verify FT FTLUs are armed and no receiver armed and no FTLU destruct. FTLU and FTS receiver indications are nominal. Roger that. Check 345. And Ops 1, you go to activate arm enable. LC Ops 1, arm enable key rotated, indicator illuminated. Check 346. Ops 1, you go to send all arm command. LC Ops 1, all arm command sent. Check 347, elect 1, verify SNAs and ODMs, all indicate arm. LC elect 1, SNAs and ODMs, all armed. Check 348. 349, not required. Phase 5, dynamic limits, will be active at T minus 3 minutes. Elect 1, I'll, ver I'll wait for your verification of OCCS commanding flight computer to flight mode. Time set to T minus 180. Check 351. Auto sequence start. Check 352. Control has transferred to CSOE. ODM bus voltages and currents are nominal. Check 353. Check 354. Core 1, away for your call yep. on 355. LOX pressurization nominal. Signal Roger nominal that. and ready Check for. SIGI is nominal and ready to configure for flight. Roger that. Check 356 and OPS 2, step 357, disable automated blended to pure inertial handoffs. Automated handoffs disabled. Copy that. Check 357. OPS 2, send one manual blended to pure inertial handoff. Manual handoff sent. Check 358. T minus two minutes on my mark. Mark. Ops 2, disable ME1 and ME2 heaters. Igniter circuits disabled. And check 361. And Core 1, I'll wait for your call on 362. Preliminary fuel tank pressurization started. Copy that. Check 362. And T minus one minute on my mark. Mark. T minus 30 seconds on my mark. Mark. TBC slew test initiated. T minus 10 seconds, mark. Five, four, three, two, one. We have ignition. We have liftoff of the Antares vehicle for the Orb-1 mission from the Wilds Flight Facility, delivering Cygnus on its first commercial resupply service to the ISS. Engines, engines are 108 percent. TVC steering is nominal. Attitude is nominal. Stage one performance looks good at this point. Engines are tracking commands nicely. Attitude's nominal. Very little steering activity at this point. 
Attitude remains nominal. Power systems all look healthy. Voltage and currents are nominal. Velocity is 600 feet per second. Attitude is nominal, very minimal steering command so far. Engines are at 100% power now. We've passed through 3,000 feet in altitude. Avionics power systems remain uh, nominal. Uh, pressurization valve VNO3 has come on. Core pressures are nominal. A uh, modest amount of steering as the vehicle passes through max Q and its maximum dynamic pressure. Altitude is 45,000 feet. TVC steering remains good. Pressurization valve VNG3 is on. Core pressures remain nominal. Attitude is good. Velocity is 2,000 feet per second. Avionics systems remain healthy. Engine performance remains nominal. TVC still tracking commands well. Attitude remains nominal. 100 seconds to main engine cutoff. Altitude 100,000 feet. Attitude remains nominal, coming up on uh, T plus 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Avionics systems remain good. TVC is tracking commands well. Uh, steering commands are very small at this point. Attitude remains good. Velocity is now 5,000 feet per second. Engine performance looks good. Coming up on T plus three minutes. At avionics power systems still look healthy. Uh, passing through 200,000 feet altitude. Core pressurization valves of VNO 4, 5, and 6 are all on now. Core pressures remain nominal. Velocity is now 10,000 feet per second. Beginning throttle down, less than, less than 30 seconds to MECO. Altitude 300,000 feet. Attitude remains nominal. We've skewed. Miko's skew is complete. Engines at 58% thrust. Power nominal. And we have Miko. Attitude remains nominal. P PSS disabled. Stage one separation. Lower ACS is enabled and attitude is nominal. Altitude is 130 kilometers. Uh, stage one performance is 19,710 uh, delta v, feet per second of delta V. That's within 40 feet per second of the nominal prediction. Excellent stage one performance. Uh, Antares is now in the coast phase until the proper conditions for fairing separation and stage two ignition are achieved. Closed loop guidance has determined that uh, uh, stage two ignition will be at uh, T plus uh, five minutes and 47 seconds. So under 40 seconds to stage two ignition, Attitude remains nominal. Altitude is now 170 kilometers. 20 seconds to stage two ignition. Attitude remains nominal. Power remains good. 10 seconds to stage two ignition. Fairing separation. 
Interstage separation. TVC battery initiated. We have stage uh, stage. Sorry, we have a uh, stage two ignition. Uh, pressures look nominal in the early part of the uh, Castor 30 burn. This is the uh, the first flight of the enhanced performance Castor 30B motor. Uh, it'll burn about 128 seconds. Uh, it's about uh, 12 seconds longer than the, the standard version of the motor that we flew on the first two missions. Attitude remains nominal. Altitude is 205 kilometers. T plus uh, 7 minutes. Attitude remains nominal. Altitude 315 kilometers. Power remains nominal. Should be roughly 30 seconds from stage 2 burnout at this point. Attitude continues to be good. Castor 30 motor pressure is uh, continuing to uh, tail off as we approach the, uh, the burnout point. Attitude remains nominal. Altitude. And we have staged uh, Castor 30 tail off. And state, stage 2 burnout. Attitude remains nominal. T plus eight minutes. FTS is disabled. Attitude remains nominal. Power remains nominal. We expect uh, payload separation in uh, just a little over a minute. Uh, there's two minute coast time between burnout and separation to uh, allow residual thrust from the motor to die out prior to spacecraft separation. The, uh, the vehicle state vector in the coast phase appears uh, to be very, uh, very close to the nominal performance prediction. Attitude remains nominal. Uh, approximately 30 seconds to payload separation. Vehicle telemetry remains uh, very solid here in the uh, RCC. Pro approximately uh, 15 seconds to spacecraft separation. Attitude continues to be nominal. And we have payload separation. Cygnus is in orbit, and Antares has initiated the uh, collision contamination avoidance maneuver. Initial assessment is that all of the orbit insertion parameters appear to be uh, well within the mission requirements. The uh, vehicle continues to be healthy as we complete the CCAM maneuver. 
And uh, that will uh, end our, our transmission here from the RCC.